Mark Savage here, Yamaha's Phaser. They do two, 1000 cc and a 600, I've had both. This is a little 600, I say little. The R6 is the beefed up sister. This one was always downgraded a little bit. Still 90 brake horsepower and still a very pretty bike. This one's a bit special. This one has a full fairing. They didn't make them this way. Someone's either very cleverly or brought it, I don't know, off the market. But they managed to put a bottom fairing on this one. It's not the same colour, but the black and blue does suit quite well. But they've managed to get it on very, very well. And I think it makes the whole bike look much nicer, if I'm honest with you. The blue and the black look quite good in the sun. Swinging on, yeah, okay. We always know what they look like. But it is an 05, 2005 model. The exhausts, twin under seat. I actually think they look really nice on here. Nice, shiny, brand new back tyre. And again, from here, the black and blue doesn't really stand out at all. But I tell you now, it makes a big difference. Nice ping screen on it. From the front, do you know what? It's not bad. It's got a little cheap pair of heated grips on here. It's got 22 on the clock. As I said, 90 brake horsepower. It's not bad from a 600. Set up and beg again though. You're not leaning down like this. So you can ride these all year round. Just under a 20 litre tank, 19 and a half litres. It's a reasonably sized tank, you know, for the dash. It's quite a nice display dash. Fuel injection. It's not bad, is it? What does it sound like? Some of you might notice, even on the microphone on this little GoPro, it didn't sound quite right. It sounds a bit raspy. The previous owner thought about changing and upgrading the exhaust and didn't bother. Then he thought about drilling the baffles out, which no one does because it just doesn't work. So he came up with another solution. He drilled a hole in the pipe. Not the best idea, really. I was worried about would it pass the next MOT. I mean, it will. It has that loose baffle sound. I mean, eh, each to your own, I guess. I don't think I would have done it. However, what do they ride like? Very nice. I say, it's only the, the slightly chubbier sister, I guess, of the R6s. Um, not a lot in brake horsepower. This is 90. I'm not sure if it's 96 or not on the R6, but still, it's minimal, really. And it's a much nicer seating position as well. Also comes with a centre and side stand. You don't get it on the old R6. Six speed. Easy enough to get to the oil filter. Ping, pang, I don't know how to pronounce it, screen. Actually makes the whole bike look really, really nice. The Mark 1 phaser, yeah, had the sort of a square of sort of lights here. I must admit, the Mark 2 phaser is a much better looking bike. And you can see the pipes are very, very clear on here, so I'm assuming this bike hasn't had an awful lot of weather damage. So if you are after a phaser, ta da! 600cc bike with 90 brake horsepower that is good enough to go for all weathers for under £2,000 for 2005 model. You really need to have a look at one of these. I had a thousand as well before, and that was an 02, I think. The video's on here, I'll put the link on the end. That looked the nuts in a lovely colour. But again, with that middle bit of fairing, I know it's black, but it doesn't look too bad, you know? I really don't think it looks too bad. Heated grips, not standard, and they're not the bestly put on. The word, but he's got that little tack here. I think I would have uh, possibly have fitted it actually on here. And that's something I can probably retro muck around with. Oh, three keys. I do like the dash, I've got to say, it's nice having that. Quite quite a much newer dash than the old style clocks. Bolt missing, but that's nothing. We like these lazy man grips. It just means you can rest your hand on rather than having to constantly grip it. So one last little look around. It's not a heavy bike, 186 kilos. I said 19 odd litre tank in there. Gonna get a few miles out of this. I'm pretty sure it'll do 45 to the gallon. And it's not too dated with that screen. I don't know, I do think it looks quite a nice looking bike. Chain and sprocket are okay. It's supposed to be, yes. I could do with a little bit of tightening up. That's just over an inch odd, isn't it? So that could do with tightening up. You might get a bit of slack on that, to be honest with you. I think I'll spray and clean that up. Easy to adjust. I've done a video on this already. 
Okay, to correct my 96 brake, the R6 is 108 brake horsepower, 20 kilos lighter, about 20 mile an hour top end, but you know, they've both nigh on got the same quarter mile. So, for what you gain for an all year bike, not a lot on it really, difference in price obviously. There you go, had to update it because I knew someone else would. Like, share, subscribe, take care of yourselves on the road.